transport manager, right? Okay, so what, there are some solutions, corporate solutions that allow you to have some uh, VPN clouds and so on, but a normal user like myself, like, uh, yeah, I lose the computer, I lost my password manager and all my passwords gone, okay? This is number one uh, issue. Number two issue is uh, you log into your password manager. With a password, with, of course, yeah. With a password, <laughs> a master password. So that's a, that's a major fail um, of all these password managers because keyloggers are ever present and all a hacker needs to do is wait until you enter your master password and then he effectively has access to all your passwords. And there has been a hack, I think, I, I don't want to harm anyone. I think it was last pass or yeah, last pass. Yeah. It was last pass. Last pass uh, that had this issue. Um, yes. Yeah, so again, you will be using the magic. Uh, we need hardware. Yeah. Cryptography. Sure, of this, yeah. Um, it will be an extension to an, an extension to the Chrome, or uh, you can have the extension as a new tab. So when you open your Explorer, your Chrome, uh, and you open a new tab uh, with the Trezor plugin, you will have a list of all your passwords. Uh, all you have to do when you want to log in, you click on the, on the, on the button or something like that. Uh, it asks you, do you want to decrypt the passwords? The password, the usernames and passwords and all the data that you enter into the password manager are encrypted with Trezor before uploaded, being uploaded to a Dropbox, uh, your own Dropbox account, okay? We will be introducing more storage options in the future. We chose Dropbox because Dropbox is uh, free, uh, most mostly used, always available, you know, so we, we chose this solution. So basically anything that you store there is online, but encrypted with Trezor. So even if someone would compromise the servers of, of Dropbox and steal all the data, you it's would still encrypted, yeah. not be able to read it. Okay. Yeah. So when you want to log into a website, uh, you just decrypt with your Trezor, a new tab opens, enters usernames, passwords, and then you just click the yeah, unlock and it's copy. Great. So we, we, will <laughs> be, we will be launching a beta for public testing. Uh, we'll be gathering some some feedback. Of course, I mean it's the first version. It will not be hundred percent perfect, yeah, but yeah. we want to see people's reactions, what they would like to have there, and we will be introducing, for example, a shared uh, password management in the future, uh, so that we already have in the in the road plan. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of exciting stuff here. Uh, we will be also redesigning Trezor. In the future, wow, we are working on some, on some <laughs> ideas, uh, but that's 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 a little bit. We have to wait for that. Yes, but it's it's it's, it's within a year, or what are we talking about? Yes, it's, it's longer, longer. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I'm very excited about it. Yes, we are working on it. We we gather Designing ideas, yeah. we we design it, you know, endless prototyping and. Yeah. and thinking about the concepts, you know. We, we always to want to, yeah, we want to make things that make sense, right? We don't want to create, you know, some some obscure, you know, things like uh, add whatever people are asking for. I mean, it's nice to listen to our customers and we do that, but we only uh, implement things that make really sense. We still stick with the idea of a super super secure uh, wallet. So people asking like, I want some Wi-Fi or yeah, that's a good idea. you have a mobile phone, okay? Yeah. If you want to be mobile, you have a mobile phone, you have great, great, uh, great apps that you can use for small spendings on the go. Uh, a hardware wallet is something that you store all your wealth with, right, yeah. a hardware wallet is something that uh, you don't necessarily uh, need to be online. Right? Uh, 
there are other ways to to pay uh, for for your coffee, you know, with an NFC card. I mean, you have just a few bucks on it, and you don't care if someone steals your bitcoins or you lose it, right? The, the, the people I know are using a Trezor for for. Uh, if there are if there ever larger amounts of, of, of Bitcoin. So uh, it's, yes. it's, a, it's the very the safest solution, uh, I guess, Definitely. we have never. Definitely. <laughs> today, yeah. uh, today, there is uh, no more secure and easy to use hardware no. wallets. Paper wallets, of course, but it's not easy to use. So. Paper wallets are, it's, uh, it's kind of safe, but... are safe until you want to actually transfer the money. And then you again you, you come to, to realize that you have to use some computer. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it's not secure at all, you know. Yeah. Great. Well, uh, great great uh, news uh, of course. Um, yeah, new product new new prototypes are being made. So uh, we, we will follow you uh, your Twitter accounts for uh, for all the, the latest news. Yes. I hope I, I hope we hear we hear it soon. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, one question I got from my from my audience: um, altcoins. What is your what is the vision of uh, Satoshi Labs uh, to maybe incorporate it, or what, what is the vision of Satoshi Labs for for uh, for storing altcoins? Um, Trezor already works with Litecoins, Namecoins, Doge, Dash, uh, anything that is based on the Bitcoin protocol, let's say, or on the Bitcoin uh, structure uh, is for us very easy to add. Uh, you can use one Trezor to keep your Bitcoins and Litecoins and other altcoins simultaneously. Uh, so you don't need separate uh, Trezor devices. If you want to know how or where you can uh, use Trezor, you just go to .satoshilabs.com, doc.satoshilabs.com, uh, and there's a part that says Trezor apps. I don't think I'll open it <laughs> if my mouse works. Yes. Uh, here. And you'll see that you can actually use. Uh, Trezor with, uh, with Electrum Dash, Electrum Litecoins, and Compass. All these, all these are uh, you know, working well with, with Trezor. Uh, you can also use Trezor with other services. Just go there, check it out. Uh, for example, one of my favorite is Kashila. Kashila guys are making it possible to, to pay invoices and pay, uh, especially pay invoices that you have to pay abroad uh, with your Bitcoins and anonymously. Uh, and I love it. And you can use it with Trezor. You log in with your Trezor and you, you pay directly from Trezor. So you can pay uh, uh, fines that you receive uh, while you're traveling in Berlin like myself. Yeah. I got a lot of fines <laughs> for, for parking, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. So I came back and I said, okay, I have two options. Either I do a bank transfer, which is going to cost me a lot of money, or I use Kashila and it worked just, just well, you know, perfect. Great, great. And more services are, are now being added uh, period, period, periodically. Yes, um, more services. I mean, the, the, the idea of, of, uh, of Trezor is, this is not a, let's say, competing wallet to other wallets. This is a necessary security component to each Bitcoin service, each Bitcoin wallet, every every service that handles some some of your Bitcoins um, should should add support for Trezor. And it's, and it's actually uh, very easy because we created this API that allows you to to make your Bitcoin service compatible with Trezor in, in a day or two with testing so it's quite straightforward uh what 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 i think is quite important uh, that we go back to the, the basic idea of bitcoin which is a decentralized system we uh, when when bitcoin started uh i mean the, uh, the entire idea is amazing bitcoin allows you for the first time in the history or, or modern history to actually own your bitcoins or you own your money. Your money, yeah. And you don't have to ask anyone for permissions, right? But what 
we started to do because we knew no better. Okay, we started to build uh, services that are centralized and that have nothing to do with the basic idea of Bitcoin. So Trezor makes it possible to take this back again to the to the individual user, to, to his owner, and he can be uh, very confident, right? Because he, he makes no mistake. He doesn't lose his money. And the services should only focus on providing the service, right? And not uh, spending their time and their, their uh, efforts on, on trying to protect their servers against hackers, you know? This is not their core business. They should give the money back to their distribute, you know, to, to, the, to the users, not trying to hold the money and protect the money. They should focus on providing high quality service. And this is what's possible with, with Trezor. So I don't know, even recently this week, I, I noticed a lot of people complaining that someone has been trying to log into their blockchain info wallet, okay? This doesn't mean that blockchain info is doing something bad. I mean, they, they really do, they, they, they try to protect their servers and everything. But well, somebody found some, either some database, old database of email, somewhere else, you know, whatever else, and they're just trying to log in and, and they are still in the Bitcoin. So should a uh, web wallet keep the Bitcoins? No, I don't think so. Okay, if, you, if you're a trader, and you're using uh, some exchanges or trading platforms, I'd advise just keep just the, the minimum amounts that you want to trade immediately on the, on the third party, because you never know. I you know, I mean, just look around, look at the history of Bitcoin. There's been a lot of scams, frauds, or mistakes, you know, human error. It's not just that people steal or scam, People sometimes also do mistakes, and it can be some uh, some administrator of, of some server yeah, not doing right. something, and then poof, uh, your bitcoins are gone, and the business closes. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you know. So just just yeah. be aware that that uh, you don't need to rely on on anyone else because Bitcoin gives you the power to to really own, uh, keep it in your hands, be your own bank, right?